In this part, we are going to continue with exercise 1a and also with exercise and we'll also start exercise 1b. So before we start with the exercise, let us have a quick revision of some of the terms. First is whole number. So whole number is counting number and zero are known as whole numbers. So whole number starts from zero, whereas natural number starts from one. Predecessor, that is one less than the given number. So if I if we are asked to find out the predecessor of five, what we'll do is we'll subtract one from the number. That is five minus one is equal to four. What is the predecessor of twenty five? Twenty five minus one that is twenty four. Successor. Successor means one more than the given number. So the successor of ten is ten plus one that is eleven, and successor of seven is seven plus one that equals to eight. Now moving on to the exercise. In the last video, we have completed till question number seven. In this video, we are going to start from question number eight. So the first question is write the successor of one zero nine nine. So as we know that successor means adding one to the number so adding one to one zero nine nine our answer is one thousand one hundred next two lakh nineteen thousand seven hundred eight adding one to the number will get two lakh nineteen thousand seven hundred nine question number nine write the predecessor of predecessor means subtracting one from the given number so the number is one three zero five subtracting one our answer is one thousand three hundred four the number given in the question is one lakh sixty five thousand. Subtracting one will get one lakh sixty four thousand nine hundred ninety nine. Next question number twelve. Question number ten and eleven is similar to question number eight and nine, so I have skipped it. Question number twelve. Write down three consecutive whole numbers succeeding seventy two thousand five hundred ninety seven. Now the term consecutive means one after another. So we have to write the succeeding number means every time we have to we will get the result we'll add one to the number. So the first number will be seventy two thousand five hundred ninety seven plus one, which will give us seventy two thousand five hundred ninety eight. Adding one to this number will get seventy two thousand five hundred ninety nine. One more, add uh, one more to the number will get seventy two thousand six hundred. Next question number fourteen. How many six-digit numbers are there in all? So we have to find that in total. That is from one lakh to nine lakh nine ninety-nine thousand nine hundred ninety-nine. How many numbers are there in all? So there's this very simple trick. First, we have to write the highest number of six-digit. Then we'll write highest number of five-digit. So the highest number of six-digit is Six times nine, that is nine lakh ninety nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine. Highest five digit number is five times nine, that is ninety nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine. Just subtract the two numbers, will get the answer. That is nine lakh six digit numbers are there in all. Next question number sixteen. Write all possible two digit numbers formed by the digit three seven and nine. When repetition of digit is not allowed, so we have to form two-digit number with these three numbers. So let's start with three in the tens place. If I keep three in the tens place, I'll pair it up with these two numbers. So the number which we will get is thirty-seven and thirty-nine. Next, keeping seven in the tens place, pair it up with the other two numbers. So we'll get seventy-three and seventy-nine. Now keeping nine in the tens place. We'll pair it up with the other two numbers, so the number will get us ninety three and ninety seven. We have not repeated any of the numbers, hence we got, we have got six such two digit numbers. Next question number eighteen, write the smallest four digit number that can be formed by the digits zero one six three, using each digit only once. Now see, you will start with the lowest number. Now here and the lowest number is zero, but as we all know, if we start a number with zero, it does not add any value to the number. Second, also if I write zero before one, then if I write the number to be zero one three six, then it will become a three-digit number, not a four-digit number. 
so we'll start with the least counting number that is 1 then we'll put 0 in the second place then arrange the remaining numbers in ascending orders that is 3 and 6 hence the number which we get is 1036 question number 19 write the smallest four digit number of four different digits now i will write four digit number but that is the smallest four digit number but there should be no repetition of the numbers there will be in the four places four different numbers i have to write so let's start with the least counting number or least natural number which is one then i'll put a zero then write the natural numbers in ascending order except one so then except one the natural numbers then starts with two and three so the number which we have got is 1023 next question number 20 write the greatest four digit number of four different digits again greatest four digit number and none of the place none of the numbers should be repeated each place value should have different numbers so let's start with the highest single digit number that is 9 then arrange it in arrange the numbers in descending orders that is 9 8 7 6 so the number is 9876 if we are asked that write the greatest four digit numbers the number would be 9999 next exercise 1b we have to compare the number and put a greater than or less than sign so the first question is 98,760, 1,2,345. We can see that the first number is a 5-digit number. The second number is a 6-digit number. So clearly the second number is more than the first number. Question number 3, 2,13,576. And other number is 67,531. Now here also it's a 6 digit number and the second one is a 5 digit number. So clearly 2,13,576 is greater than the second number. Fifth question 76,134 and the second number is 76,079. Now see both are 5 digit numbers. So let's compare each of the place value so that we can find out where we uh, the difference is now see both the numbers are starting with 76 so we cannot compare this two both are same now coming to the hundred place the first uh, the first number is having one and the second number hundred place is having a zero so one is more than zero therefore we can say that 76134 is greater than 76,079. Next question number 9. 54 lakh 63,217. Second number is 54 lakh 62,378. Now again both of this number are 7 digit number. So again let us compare it and compare the numbers uh, with the help of their place values. So the first uh, lakhs place or the lakhs period is having 54 and 54 so both are same now let's compare with it with the thousand place the 10,000 place is having 6 the second number in the second number the 10,000 place is having 6 so again these three digits are same now moving on to the thousands place the first digit is having 3 in the thousands place the second digit is having two in the thousands place so here the difference lies in the thousand place there is three and in the second one there is two so this number the first number is greater so hence we are writing this 54 lakh 63,217 is greater than 54,000 sorry 54 lakh 62,378 now arranging the numbers in ascending order now if I see all the numbers, all six numbers are five digit numbers. So I have divided them in their periods. So first, all are having thousand place, thousand periods. Now, if I 
compare all the numbers in respect to their thousand place. So we can see that in the thousand place there is 57, 60, again 57, 61, 60, 61. So basically in the thousand place there is 57, 60 and 61. So out of 57, 60, 61, 57 is the lowest number. So we'll take 57. So in the thousand place there are two numbers which has 57. One is the first one, another is the third one. Now comparing these two numbers, we can find out that 57,860 is less than 57,906. So my first number is 57,860, second number is 57,906. After, seven, after 57, the next smallest number, smaller number in the thousands place is 60. So again, if you check all the numbers, we have 260 in the thousand place. One this number, another is the fifth number. Now comparing this second and fifth number, we can see that one is having 60,375, 60, another is having 60,296. Clearly, 60,296 is less. So let's write the third number as 60,296. Then will come 60,375. Last remaining two numbers, which is having 61 in the thousands place. This is the fourth number and the sixth number. So comparing the two numbers, one is having 61,435. Uh, 61, another is having 61,380. So we'll write 61,380 first. Then we'll end up with 61,435. Next, question number 13. If I see all the numbers, all the numbers are six digit numbers. So let's compare the numbers. So I have divided the numbers in their periods. So first is the lax place. Now if I check the lax place of all the number, we have five, 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 five and four. So 4 is less than 5, so my first number will be 4,56,780. Now, rest all the numbers are having 5 in their lakh periods. So, moving on to the thousand period, we'll check the numbers. Now, in the 10,000s ten place, let us check all the numbers. First number is having 0. Next, also 0. Third also 0, fourth 0 and this is 1. So surely this is not coming in the second place. Let compare the thousand, let compare the thousands place, the digits in the thousand place. So first number is having 1, 1, 0, 2. So in the thousand place we have 1, 0 and 2. So 0 is the smaller number. So let us place this in the second place. That is 500984. Now these two are gone. Now we'll compare the rest phone numbers. So we have 0, 01, 0, 01, 0, 02, and 10. Now obviously 0, 02 and 10 is greater than 0, 01. So let us compare these two numbers. One is having 501462, another is having 501076. So 076 is less than 462. So my third number will be 501076. Fourth number will be 501462. Now all the numbers have been completed except this two. So let us compare these two numbers. One is having 502, another is having 500, 510. So clearly 02 is less than 10. So we'll write the fifth number to be 502000 and the last number is 510010. I hope this is clear. The last question, question number 15. If you see the, all the numbers, this is in the lax period, this is in the crores period, crores period, lax period, crores period. So clearly the two lakhs, we will be starting with the two lakhs first. Next, we will compare all the crores. Now, on the lax 
period we can see 93 93 this is having six in the thousands period we have 68 and 67 67 is less than 68 so we'll first put 93 lakh 67839 then we'll put 93 lakh 68516 now let us compare all the crores numbers with crores so this second number is in the crore place we have one this third number is having nine in the crores period and this is having one so clearly we can see that these two numbers are having one in the crores places so we'll be comparing these two numbers first so in the crores space both are having one in the lakh space both are having five in the thousand place one is having 40 or in the thousand period one is having 40 another is having 41 so 40 is less than 41 so we'll place it in the third place so in the third place we'll have one one crore five lakh forty thousand six hundred three in the fourth place we'll write one lakh sorry one crore five lakh forty one thousand two hundred one and the last number will be nine crore that is nine crore ten lakh thirty two thousand four hundred one there are some work for you there are some homework given in this slide you can copy it down and practice on your own see you in the next class thank you